Good morning everyone. Well, all good things have to come to an end. Today's the day that I'm finally taking down all the Christmas stuff. And as much excitement as I get when I put it up, I really, really dread taking it down. So here we are, um, living room is a disaster, here's the dining room, I already got some of my boxes the kids brought up already. I'm going to start by taking down the Christopher Ratko ornaments because that's the first tree I put up and the first tree I take down and the reason why I do that, and you've seen the videos before, is because all of these ornaments are collectibles and I really really need to make sure that I don't hurry to do this. So in order to ensure no breakage, I pretty much start with that tree because that's the one that takes the longest time. I don't know if that makes sense. But today I'm going to do um, this tree right here. I'm going to take down the stuff here and the stuff over there. Basically this whole corner, bring the chair that's over there back here and then figure out what I'm going to do with the table, whether I'm going to keep this one or bring back the round one, I don't know. Then I'll do the entire mantle here. Some of the stuff, well actually most of it, that's on the coffee table. And then of course there's the large tree here, that's going to take a while. Um, I still have to do this part right here. I don't know if I'm going to keep the reindeers. I make those myself this year, half a day. Um, you know, I mean, I really am not all that attached to them because I really want the Pottery Barn ones. But I don't know. If I can disassemble them and keep them, then I'll do that. And so if I ever can afford the other ones before next Christmas, then I'll purchase them. Otherwise, maybe I'll put those up or do another set. I don't know. And then there's still the stuff over there that needs to be done. It just seems overwhelming. I'm keeping the nativity scene because the three kings didn't show up yet. That's either tomorrow or Tuesday, I can remember. Um, yeah, so that's staying there for now. I'll probably remove the uh, ivy that's around it. And then the outside of the house, there's no way I'm going to have time to do today. So I'll do it sometime during the week, but that's really not, you know, it's just put it back into the boxes and that's it. All right, so um, the Ratko ornaments, if you remember what I was talking about in my last video, every single one of them has a wire that is looped as a coil inside the branches because I really I'm scared that any of them is going to fall so that's what I got to do right now I have the box right here that's already labeled and they're gonna go in there now I know I have some stuff in there that I need to pretty much remove like these don't belong here um, yeah so I gotta get all the paper probably paper towels is what I use because they are soft and pretty much keep the glitter intact. I don't want any of the glitter that's on most of the ornaments to come off. So I wrap them either in tissue paper or in paper towel very loosely and they're just being placed one on top of the other but in a very loose fashion because the box is big enough. The last thing I want is any kind of pressure on these ornaments because that's definitely going to cause breakage. And here's one. And just roll it and I have a lot of tissue paper at the bottom and just put it in there that's it moving on to the next one done every ornament has been removed except for the uh, butterflies there but everything is in the box so they are at the bottom and again they're very loosely stacked there's paper towels in between them <clears throat> then I put a um, all of the, uh, uh, whatever you call them, branches and sprays and stuff. Piece of um, <clears throat> paper bag. It's actually a whole paper bag. On top of it, and then I put these ornaments and then the bow right here. There's nothing else that gets into this box. And I think this is not even a pound and a half um, of stuff. I'm going to close it. Tape it to the edges here. And this is done. That box needs to be on top of the other ones. I don't want any weight on it. And needs to be all the way in the back as well because I really don't want any handling of this box no matter what. And when you have collectible ornaments like I do, you really want to minimize the amount of handling. One, because they're breakable. Two, because of the glitter. And three, because the more you put your fingers on those ornaments, the acidity from your fingers would actually accelerate tarnish, if that makes any sense. 
Um, yeah, so that's the reason why I should wear gloves really, but I mean, who's that OCD? Um, one day maybe I'll have the money to buy the real compartment, you know, that you use for ornaments. But the problem with these is that they have such odd shapes and they're not all the same height that it would just basically have to be a customized one. And so, you know, maybe I'll build my own. I don't know. Right now I don't have time. Um, all right, the tree. I pack the lights with the tree. I'm going to undo the lights and then I'm going to undo the tree and then I roll the lights um, around a piece of cardboard and the lights go in the box with the tree. That way when I assemble the tree I have the lights ready I don't have to run around and figure out where the lights are. So I just wrapped all of my lights on the, uh, these two sets here on a piece of cardboard. Really it's a um, part of a container. I can't even remember what it was. But once it's done I kind of like plug the two ends together just to make sure I close the loop and that's going to go inside the box. It's not going anywhere, you see, it's uh, pretty much tight. I should have checked to see if they were still working, but I guess I'll do that when I'm ready to put up the tree next year. I just have to uh, take this one down. Um, I do have some work to do right here. Let me remove the skirt first because that's going to go. Matter of fact, I'm going to put the skirt with the ornaments right here but I have to undo all of these here these are the uh, bungee cords that I've used to anchor the tree to make sure it doesn't fall so I'm gonna have to be careful when I remove those the last thing I want is for it to snap on my face so here's a little trick for you I'm disassembling this tree and you know it's a artificial tree that has those branches and each one of them is numbered and goes to a number um, associated with it on the trunk well, instead of just throwing these in there, I'm making bundles because that way, when I'm reassembling my tree, I'm not searching like a maniac for which branch goes where. I have a bundle here. I'm going to disassemble this row right here and bundle it and do the whole process until the tree is pretty much taken down and everything is nicely, neatly organized in there. Add the lights, pack with uh, some tape on the sides and done ready to go i have the lights right here on the side everything has been bundled i'm gonna add the two bungees because i use them every year for that tree so might as well just pack them in there close the box and this is what it looks like on this side over there we're about ready to have some lunch i made that um turkey chili from uh, weight watchers yesterday and it's delicious it's a little spicy but it's delicious and we got plenty left over so I'm gonna have my little lunch and then I think I'll tackle this before I put everything back together on this corner it makes sense um, only because I don't want to have to you know put some glitter or whatever onto the uh, uh, chair so I just want to remove everything from that corner and just put it back in its original state and then I'll tackle the big tree I don't want to take it down moving on to the mantle <clears throat> the mantle decoration has its own box. I compartmentalize everything that way when it's time to decorate I just pull out whatever box I need and that's it. So everything that's here is going to go in that box and I'm also going to put the basket here with all of those uh, ornaments. I really like this basket. It's a, I got it from uh, Scott's grandmother actually. The only problem with it if you can see it's got like beautiful fake frost and glitter on it but it doesn't really stay flat. Um, so I don't really know what to do the rest of the year with it, but I really really like it So that's gonna go directly at the bottom. I'm gonna put the All of the ornaments. These are plastic ones. It's just for decor more than anything else I'm gonna put them in a plastic bag and then I put everything back on top of it and close it. That's it. All right. Well, we just had lunch um, whew, I'm not overwhelmed, but I'm kind of tired of having to do this. I still haven't done the tree I do have the whole mantle taken care of and because I'm driven to distraction I built this. It's just a regular, I had this I had this little garland thing that was too short for the tree, I didn't know what to do and then I had this leftover wreath that's made of twigs and then grandma's uh, little butterflies. I figured you know what let me put something together and voila I don't know if I'm gonna keep it but bottom line is uh, this is all taken down and I now have to Move all the furniture, sweep everything, bring the chair, and then reorganize this area. Finish the table here. I have three boxes full packed over there. 
and then I gotta tack on this monster over there. Quite frankly, I don't think I'm gonna have time to do everything. It's already 3.30 in the afternoon. Um, and I didn't go get the coupons, I didn't do grocery shopping, I didn't make dinner. So, yeah. Um, and tomorrow I got way too much to do and I gotta start studying. So, yeah, all right, so let me just finish this and get it over with. Ah, I'm moving slowly. All right, I got the chair back. I've decided that I'm gonna keep that little table over there instead of the round one because I have another one that's actually tucked behind the tree and I'm gonna put it in front of it. All right, so I have a longer table. And then the round one right here, I'm going to put it in the corner over there with a lamp on it. Um, I don't know why. I actually, I don't you know. Um, I think it's going to work better. I'm not sure if I want to keep the stuff underneath. I think it just looks cluttered. But I have this tray here that's a very heavy tray. I think it's uh, at least 10 pounds. I don't know what it's made of, some kind of metal. I'm just going to put it over here. On the side and that's where we're gonna place the uh, wood because what happens when you have the wood like this on the side you get all of the little splinters and uh, pieces of wood and whatnot all over the place so at least this is gonna contain it a little bit more this one I don't know if I'm gonna keep it here but for now it's gonna stay here um, it doesn't work all right I'll put it somewhere else but bottom line is this is where I'm at um, yeah I gotta do the tree. All right, so the tree, you remember my boxes, everything has been labeled already. So I have boxes for just feathers, boxes for just flowers, boxes for just ornaments, glass ornaments. So I'm pretty much gonna recategorize everything. Now when I take the flowers, which are the ones I'm taking first, I have to close them. And of course I'm using my left hand, so it's not gonna work. But the bottom line is that I need to close them as much as I can like this just to store them in a way that doesn't damage them and also to prevent the glitter from coming off and then these here that are made of silk these I have to ensure that they keep the shape so I put a little bit of um, tissue paper or toilet paper directly into the hole right here to fill it up so that way they, uh, they stay in shape like a cone shape otherwise they just get all flattened and smooshed and we don't want that so I'm using brown paper bag to uh, gather specific ornaments that are made solely of feathers. Like for instance these right here. I'm just going to put them... Oh, you found them. Good, thank you. Scott's helping. Uh -huh. So these go inside the paper bags because I don't want them to get um, damaged. Not that the boxes get moved. Or anything but I just want to make sure that the feathers are protected so I have to go over and pick everything that has a feather like this guy right here and then we have another one here to make sure I go around I have another one right here oh, I think I have another one somewhere here this this one and this one this I think I have all the feathers I'm not sure yeah and these are not feathers um yep that's it all right so those are gonna get wrapped in the paper bag put in there and this is the box with just flower and feathers and so I have a box here for the animal ornaments so this one it's all of the ones that are pretty much animals uh, like this one here and here and I have enough room to put the birds and a few other ones I think yeah there's more peacocks here um, that's not going to be filled up so I'm probably going to put the rest of the ornaments in it and that's going to give me one of those big box here it's going to be emptied so that way I can put the rest of the uh, decor like the nativity scene and all of the other stuff this is actually going faster than I thought I just don't want to do it because I love my tree all right, so I have uh, three box full of stuff and there's nothing left on the tree. So now I'm going to use this empty box right here to put the uh, garland that's on the uh, stairs, on the rail, and then all of the lights. And that's all that's going to go in that particular box because I can't pack the lights and make them fit inside the Christmas tree box. It's just too much. So I think I got all of the ornaments. Yep. All right. All right. So the large tree is in the box. Everything has been 
bundle. I have the uh, tree skirt in there. I'm starting to sweep because believe it or not, look at all of those fake pine needles. It's all over the living room. I'm telling you, you buy artificial tree because you want to save trees and also because it's supposedly cleaner. It's not. You get the exact same amount of pine needles and I'll probably find some more in March and April and uh, yeah it's everywhere right now up to the uh, kitchen crazy this is the never ending job look tree is out I finally got all of it out of the way and then uh, this is starting to shape up a little bit over here but this is still a mess I have the uh, buffet here taken down I decided to get rid of the um, I threw away the, uh, uh, what you call them, the reindeer, uh, because they were shedding glitter everywhere and it's not like they were that expensive to make. And uh, yeah, and I really want, as a goal, to get the Pottery Barn ones next year. Anyway, I'm sure the lighting is dreadful in here. Um, this is what I did. I put the table in here, which kind of is okay, um, but I'm using the corner in the back to put the stereo system that we haven't connected in, oh, I don't know, four years now. So I have one speaker that's uh, hooked up, and the other one is hooked up too, but I have the um, cable here because it's not long enough. So Scott went to the Radio Shack to get a longer one, so that one is going to go over there. They are absolutely hideous. Um, I think eventually I'm going to buy smaller ones, supposedly more performing anyway, but I can connect my iPod to that, so that's pretty cool. And I still have to do the upstairs. So that's going to go into one of the boxes that I have left over. Once I'm done with that, clean up the rest of the dining room. Um, because at some point I'm going to have to make dinner. It's 5.30 already. This is staying right here because, like I said, the epiphany is not in yet. And then i got to finish cleaning all of this right here. Um, I'm glad I got the living room back, or at least some of it. Um, I'm really not sure about that corner over there. Yeah, let me know what you think. I I think it's protruding. I, I don't know. I think it just looks cluttered. Um, I'm trying. I think I have too much stuff. And I have a box downstairs, if you remember, when I put the Christmas decoration together. I have a box of all of the knickknacks that were here. And I put all of them in that one box. And that box didn't make it upstairs yet. And I think I'm over cluttered as it is now. I can't imagine what it's going to look like when I bring that stuff back up. So, I don't know. Decisions, decisions. Well, I'm declaring a job well done. Here we go. The whole living room is done. Dogs can finally come back in here. Very happy about it. Uh, all right, so I had a choice of either dusting everything or doing the um, staircase. And I've decided instead that I was going to dust everything because that seemed to be more of a priority. So I didn't do the landing on the second floor. Um, that's going to get done another time. But the dining room is pretty much done. I mean, except for a few things on the um, <clears throat> dining room table. And then, you know, this is done. I just realized that I have a bulb that needs to be replaced. So, yeah, it never ends. All right, I'm going to leave you here. I got to make dinner. So we're going to have some leftover chili and probably salad and, um, I don't know, pizza for the kids, something like this. But it's going to be a low-key Sunday night because the kids are back in school tomorrow morning. So I bid you good night and I'll see you later. Bye!